Now with our series Scam You, more and more consumers are getting duped by fraudsters impersonating banks, urging them to send money through Zelle, the mobile payment method embedded in many banking apps. Rebecca Jarvis is back with that story. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, George. And there have been about 70,000 complaints to the FTC about payment apps claiming more than $130 million in losses. Scammers are using phone calls and text messages posing as legitimate banks like Bank of America, Chase and Wells Fargo. And now consumer advocates are calling for action. It was devastating. Special education teacher Kylie Watson worked for months to save for her maternity leave. Then the Pennsylvania mom received these concerning texts claiming to be from Wells Fargo. They asked me if I had authorized $3,500. Watson says she only answered the follow-up phone calls after searching online and finding the number calling her seemed to be from Wells Fargo. He wanted me to log into my Wells Fargo banking app, click on Zelle, and then I saw two transactions and the money was gone. I didn't authorize anything. Zelle is a mobile payment transfer service embedded in your banking app that allows you to send money to people directly between bank accounts. Watson's claim for a refund was denied. $3,500. That's for our mortgage. That's for groceries. ABC stations across the country reporting on customers saying they've lost thousands through their Zelle accounts from fake bank texts and phone calls claiming to be from Wells Fargo. It's just scary. Cynthia Marin telling San Francisco's seven on your side she lost $1,700. The money's gone. This Wells Fargo customer telling Charlotte, North Carolina's Action 9's I-Team she lost $3,500. It's my savings. Federal Regulation E was put in place to protect consumers using electronic fund transfer services like Zelle from fraud, including unauthorized payments. One of the reasons that Zelle is being abused by scammers uh, is that they are taking advantage of a loophole in Reg E about what is an authorized payment versus what is an unauthorized payment. And since it appears that these fraudulent transactions were authorized by consumers, the banks are not liable. If the fraudster can uh, convince you to send the money willingly, even if it's for, for through fraudulent means, then you are not protected. That transaction is considered authorized under current federal regulations. The National Consumers League says the regulation needs to change. We think it's time to fix this loophole. The evidence is clear that millions of consumers uh, are at risk. After the ABC stations and GMA contacted Wells Fargo, these customers say they received full refunds. The company telling GMA, we are actively working to raise awareness of common scams. When a customer files a claim, we follow the applicable laws and regulatory guidance, including Regulation E, based on the facts of their situation. And again, awareness is so important here. This often starts with a text that looks like a fraud alert from your bank. It is followed by a call that looks like it legitimately came from your bank. Zelle and Wells Fargo are trying to increase awareness of these scams on their websites and social media. Wells Fargo also told us what other banks have said. It won't ask customers to transfer funds between accounts or share sensitive information. And the bottom line here is do not reply to texts or calls to you. Instead, look at your credit card. Look up your bank's number on their website. Call them directly, guys. That last bit of advice yep. is so key. Yes. Unfortunately, now they're just better at this than ever and before. It looks so yeah. legit. Yes, exactly. Yes. That's the hard part. Yeah. Looks so legit. Mm -hmm. Rebecca, thank you as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.